Hey everybody, it's Mike. I'm out in the rain here, uh, trying to talk to a satellite. I was waiting for a sunny day, but they're just not coming, so let's give this a try. I've got my laptop, uh, hopefully not getting soaked, and my antenna and the radio. Uh, bear with me, I'm going to see which satellite we've got up, and I'm going to try to listen in. Okay, so I just brought my computer around so I can kind of see it while I'm filming. You can see here, I've got my antenna that you saw in the last video. I've only got the UHF aerials on it, and I've got it wired into my handheld. So this can receive uh, UHF frequencies that these satellites are downlinking on, but uh, it can only receive FM. So most of these satellites aren't doing FM voice, but I'm hoping we can hear something, even if it's just a carrier uh, blanking out the static. So I've got this uh, set to the frequency. We're going to be looking at the QBug2 satellite, which should be coming up over the horizon any minute. Um, bear with me, I'm going to be looking at the laptop, the radio, and a compass to find the direction. This one should go pretty much straight overhead, so at some point the antenna is going to be straight up. But I'm going to try to catch it on the horizon as it comes into view and kind of track it with my arm as it goes. I've never done this before. We'll see if it works. Uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, so we're coming up over the horizon at uh, 164 degrees. Where I am, there's a magnetic declination, so to use my trusty compass, I'm going to have to add uh, the magnetic declination offset. Uh, so that 164 becomes around 181. So bear with me here. 181, so pretty much directly south. And I hold it nice and flat. Okay, so we should be coming up over the horizon right over there. You can't see it, but that's just through the corner of my house, so I'm going to step out to try to get it up over the neighbors. And as it goes up, it should track straight up until it's almost directly overhead. I'll try to put in some uh, video so you can see what it looks like on the screen. And with luck, we'll hear something. The satellite on the site, uh, I'll show you in a bit, doesn't actually list a beacon, so I don't know if it will even be transmitting anything, but only one way to find out. Okay, so here we go. I'll be trying to listen on the radio. Hopefully you can hear me and hear the radio. Yeah, microphone's all set up. Um, let's see how we do. So let's see, my frequency is set. Uh, this is on 437.445 megahertz. Because of Doppler, I'm going to be adjusting the frequency as we get ready. So at the start, the satellite's going to be coming towards us. So that means the frequency will appear a little bit higher where I am as kind of at the receiver. So I'm just gonna tweak it with my finger up maybe uh, 15 kilohertz. I, I haven't done the math yet to actually figure out how much it should be, but I'm just going to wing it. And then as it gets closer to directly overhead, uh, which is pretty much spot on, let me see here, it's uh, 83 degrees. So not directly overhead, that would be 90, but uh, it'll be off a little bit in that direction. Or I guess in that direction. You'll see me, I'll just kind of scan the sky a little bit and try to lock in. Uh, this is why I want a, an automated pointer, but um, as it gets closer, I'm going to be dialing the frequency down until it's back on the center frequency when it's pretty much right above. And then it'll start moving away and I'll need to adjust the frequency below the center frequency uh, for me here as the receiver. Okay, so let's see, it should be coming up over the horizon pretty soon. I'm just going to take a look here. Once it is at its peak, it will be at around 100 degrees. So that would be uh, 
that's with the declination so it'll be roughly directly the way you're pointing uh, where you're looking so I'll be unfortunately my back to you but once it comes up to the peak I'll be kind of pointing the antenna slightly that way so 89 degrees so just a little bit off vertical okay so well, the wind's picking up I hope my laptop doesn't blow away here we go okay so I am 445 I'm gonna start at 460 so 437 460 and while it's coming up I'm gonna hold down the the monitor button basically turns off the squelch so they'll be static and what I'm listening for is that static to, to go away to show that I've got a carrier of some kind so I think you can probably hear that that's what I'm listening to right now um, if I hear anything I'll hold it up to the mic a little bit I don't know how loud it's going to be, but we'll see. So we're just coming up. Um, I forgot to mention the satellites also are usually polarized in one direction or another. I don't know where that will be based on the orientation. So you'll also see me rotating the antenna to try to lock in the, the polarization. Okay, so this one's going to peak, start right about now on the horizon and uh, come up to the peak in about seven minutes. So I'm also going to set my phone down and try to listen in on or lock in on the time without everything getting soaked as we do. I think I'm going to call that one a miss and try for the next one. All right, let's see if there's anything close. At least the rain has stopped. Okay, so it looks like there is a satellite called Hope One. It's going to peak at around 73 degrees elevation, so fairly close. Uh, let me just put in the center frequency. Hope one is at 435790. 435790. And the bearing at the peak is, let's see here, 69 plus my declination brings it to around. 86 so I'll get my compass here that's actually not too far from where we were looking before so directly away from the camera again I'll try not to turn my back to you and it's coming over the horizon which it's already done at 154 it's pretty similar to the path we had on the last one should be around there up to facing away from the camera. So I'm gonna try again here. Hopefully you can hear me, I haven't checked this video. So this is Hope One and it does have a beacon listed and its mode listed as CW, which if I can receive the CW, you won't actually hear anything except the carrier clicking on and off, so the static disappearing. So let's try this. Let me make sure my frequency's right. Hope one, four, three, five, seven, nine, zero, and I'll do the same thing. I'll tweak the frequency up and down to adjust for Doppler. Oh yeah. So what you're hearing there is the static stopping. That's the CW. 
the carrier wave turns on and because it sees a signal, the static goes away. It's just a silent carrier, so there's no modulation. But that's what you're hearing, that's Morse code. I still got it here. So hopefully you can hear that on the video. That's CW from a satellite. A nice strong signal. And as it goes across the sky, I'm going to try to follow it with the antenna to keep the signal locked on. You'll see me wiggling, a, wiggling it a bit as we go to try to track it. Nice strong signal. So on my power meter, that's measuring about an S2. I'm gonna to try to look at the computer again. I wanna see when my peak comes in. So this is the Hope One satellites. The peaks in about one minute. So I'm actually not even pointing at it and I'm still getting a fairly strong signal. So let's swing the signal towards. Is it? Okay, well either it stopped transmitting or I just lost it, but that was coming in nice and strong. You heard the CW, that's the carrier clicking on and off. Uh, eventually I'll be using my other radio which actually has CW mode in it. So you hear the familiar beep 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 sound instead of just the static clicking on and off. But um, there you go, receiving with just a couple items, uh, signals from a satellite in space, <laughs> pretty exciting. So that's proved that it's possible with this equipment, using the prediction software, using this equipment, hand holding, so it's definitely not ideal for locking in a strong signal, but we've kind of proved at least some of the components. Now, really the goal from here is to do the same thing I've just done, but with my own software tuned instead of to amateur radio satellites tuned to the SpaceX Starlink constellation. First, I'm gonna try with this antenna, but on a motorized mount, so it will do the tracking automatically for me. And we'll try the amateur radio satellite again, prove that we can do that tracking uh, use the other radio to automatically adjust the frequency to track the Doppler to prove that we can do that reliably based on the position and velocity of the satellite relative to us. And then the final step will be swapping out this antenna and this receiver for uh, a set of equipment that can actually receive on the Starlink frequency bands. And if all that goes well, hopefully we'll be able to get a similar signal, probably not CW, but a similar signal from the Starlink satellites. All right, that's all for now. Thanks.